I'm chilling out in front of this tank, which uh, the fish are kind of freaking out, I guess you could say. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Paul the Inventory King. Welcome to the next installment of this automatic water chain system build. If you guys can click that subscribe button and notification bell, I would be honored. So in today's video, we need to put the piping together, get it installed, routed, and all that good stuff so water can get into the fish room so we can actually run the system. So you can see right over there, we have the water line coming into the fish room. So what we need to do is we need to route it over here. So we're gonna start. All right, everybody. So as you can see here, we are getting things measured out to start bringing the water line into the fish room. I don't know if you noticed, but when we first looked at it, the elbow was pointing down. I decided to switch that around. So I had to mess with some of the pipe out in the shop area. But here we go, gluing the first piece of PVC pipe to allow that water to come on into the fish room for this automatic water change system. Now we are looking for some studs here in the wall to mount the manifold so that uh, it doesn't fall off the wall. So I went and mounted it and it didn't sit very flush. So I decided to go with this piece of lumber make sure it's nice and level so that the manifold would sit at a more level position. Um, before that, you know, some of the connections um, stick out and it was just not sitting how I liked it. Now we are getting the top section to fasten down the manifold set. We got some anchors going into the wall where there isn't any studs. And now it's time to get that fastened down. Definitely a step to not miss because um, it needs to be there and fastened down so that it doesn't um, come crashing down on you when the water starts to flow through this. Now that it is fastened on the wall, we are moving on to getting the pipe and the adapters and elbows and all that good stuff glued on to the system so we can start running the lines from the manifold to the area where the tanks are. So you can see again here we have four zones. Two zones go to the left and two zones go to the right. Zone one is for the 40 gallon breeder rack. Zone two is for the two 125s, and that is on the, uh, if you walk into the fish room, it is directly ahead of you. Now you can see we are getting zone three installed, which goes to the 125s that are the Hawk tank and the common hap tank. Getting some of the adapters all uh, hooked up here. The um, we got what's it 45 degree angles elbows getting all that good stuff put in now I had to mess around with this corner over here because of the pipe coming in I had to end up going with two 45 degree angles which ended up being perfect and uh, it was a nice solution so that it stayed as clean as possible one thing to do that I made a mistake on make sure you give yourself a little extra room for the pipe to go up. I mismeasured and the PVC had to go up a smidge uh, to get over the jams that you can see. So that was my fault there. Getting the elbows put up now uh, for zone three and four so that we could route the line. A lot of work, but worth it. That is for sure. You can see we're getting closer and closer. Get that level out, make sure it's nice and level. Now we are out at the hot water heater where we are installing the 
system that brings the water into the fish room. You can see that we are putting together everything needed to make this happen. Okay, so we got um, everything ran over here. It's drying. This is the line going into the fish room for the new system. This is the old one that I tapped into. So if I ever decide to do a big water change, I could just shut this down and keep this. Well, obviously this one would be off. These would all be off except for this one. So I'm like, oh, I want to do a big water change. Come in here, shut this off, turn this one on. Water will flow on the old system. Then when I'm done, I shut this off and open this one, which drains into my hose, into the sink once I put it back. So it's the old system and the new system pretty much. So looking forward to that. So you can see we got that all set. Uh, we got everything glued together. Uh, is it perfect? No. Is it going to get the job done? Yes. So there we go so far. All right, so we are going to test this. I turned the power off. This should be registering. Um, but to just be safe, see, nothing. To be safe, we're going to plug something in that you have to turn on. We're going to try this electric drill. Nothing, 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 nothing. So I'm pretty confident we're good to go. All right, so we are pulling the outlets out on this side of the wall because I'm going to tie into that. Right now, cutting out a hole in the wall to put a plug so we can have an area to plug in the Rainbird timer. Otherwise, I'd have to get a bunch of extension cords, so I decided why not tie into the um, outlets just right on the other side of the wall. Now time for the electrical part, getting all of the connections set, live to brass, neutral to the normal color screw, and then obviously your ground to the green. All right, so we got the plug, uh, we got that all in. I'm gonna have to get a new uh, cover because I broke it. So now we need to get the controller. All right, it's time to get the Rainbird controller mounted. Okay, so right here we have the three dots on the water su supply. We need to drill it and then tap it. So right now we got the drill bit and uh, of course we are gonna go nice and slow. So we are getting all of the holes drilled. So we got the holes drilled and uh, you just want to make sure that any excess PVC is gone. So far we're doing okay. Okay, we got the thread bit. Again, I know it's hard to see. Don't have a very good spot for this. So again, nice and slow going in at the forward position and reverse it out. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the valves and uh, I put some pipe thread on them because you want the pipe thread on. So we need to go ahead and get these ones installed. So we need to go ahead and situate it up here. So something that we need to do in each tank is we need to drill a hole that's big enough for the tubing but small enough to where it fits in there snug. And I'm going right here in the corner, in a good spot.
There it is. Well, guys, we are so close. It's 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 coming to an end super soon. Uh, I can't wait for the system to do everything for me. Well, almost everything, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, if you guys can click the subscribe button and that notification bell, I would be honored if you guys like this kind of content. Would love for you guys to not miss out on anything coming up in the future. Also, check out some of my old stuff. You can see how we got to this point. If you guys could like the video and comment and share it, that would be amazing. You guys are all awesome. We will see you guys on the next video. What are we gonna do next on this water change system? Only you guys will know by the next video. So let's do that. See you guys next time. Stay tanked.